Okay, so I have a pork belly here and I'm going to trim it up and then I'm gonna put some dry cure on it and I'm gonna cure it and turn it into bacon. So this is a pretty big pork belly. I wanna trim it so it fits better in this container. I wanna just take off any sort of flappy bits. I don't really need the ends. Now, if you wanna do this at home, you might not want a belly this big, but you can just get your butcher or find a smaller one at a grocery store. Just want to liberally sprinkle more cure on here. A snowfall has occurred here. In two days, I'm going to come back and I'm going to look in the fridge and this is all going to be dissolved. Okay, it's two days later and I pulled my pork belly out of the fridge. There's quite a bit of liquid in the bottom here. That's a good sign. And it's getting a little, a little stiff, a little harder to the touch. The pork belly itself is turning darker. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle some more curing salt, some more curing mix. Just a light dusting is all we need. And that's basically it. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the thick bits. Okay, so it's been a few days. It's actually six days later. I'm gonna rinse this under cold water and then I'm going to hang it to dry and smoke it. The bacon is now out of the smoker. It looks really good. Uh, I have smoked it until it was 60 degrees centigrade, uh, which means it's pasteurized and it's now safe to eat. When it comes out of the smoker, it sometimes has a bit of uh, soot on it, rubbing with a paper towel and getting any excess soot off. There's the fat side. And the other, the back side of this doesn't really have any soot on it. I'm just going to slice a bit off the edge so we can see the inside. And yeah, we can see it's really nice. It's pink all the way through and smells nice and smoky. And we'll just try a little piece. And it's good. Um, sometimes it can be tough. Sometimes it can be soft. It really depends on the pig, really. So you're going to get variable results. Uh, the key is to just do it often and work on your technique. And eventually you'll find your sweet spot. This is nice bacon.